There are two species of squirrel that inhabit the British Isles, red squirrels and grey squirrels. Populations are currently estimated at approximately 140,000 red squirrels and two and a half million grey squirrels. Red squirrels are a native species and have lived in the UK for around 10,000 years, whereas grey squirrels were introduced from North America in the 1800s. Grey squirrels are a familiar sight for many people across large parts of the UK and often seen in cities and town parks and even in our gardens. We quite often come into our gardens to steal the food we leave out for the birds. They are also carnivorous and attack and kill millions of UK songbirds every year. Grey squirrels also transmit a squirrel pox virus which normally kills red squirrels. Once infected, they often die of starvation or dehydration. However you think of them, they really are a very invasive and extremely destructive species that have found their way into our isles. This map illustrates that grey squirrels have replaced red squirrels across almost all of England and Wales. Unfortunately, the range of our native red squirrels is now very limited to certain areas of the UK, such as Anglesey, parts of Northern England and Scotland. In many cases, they've had to retreat to remote locations to survive the onslaught. Time is really running out. Unfortunately, without conservation management and breeding programs, red squirrels could become totally extinct I think it really would be a travesty to allow this distinctive species to just disappear on our watch, to be lost forever to our future generations, only to be viewed on old videos or photographs. But hope is not lost. If we act, we can preserve the existence of this distinct species. There are several options available to make a woodland more attractive to red squirrels so they can raise their offspring in relative safety. If you live in an area with reds, you can ensure there is a healthy food supply available all year round for them, as squirrels don't hibernate. If they have a healthy environment, this will encourage them to breed, increasing their chances for survival, which you will have personally had a hand in, something to be proud of. Islands of woodland that only support a homogenous community of red squirrels can also be cultivated and barriers between those areas and any nearby grey squirrel areas. These barriers can include coniferous trees, arable land or moorland and are designed to discourage grey squirrels from entering the red squirrel habitat where they would have a negative impact on the red squirrels. If we undertake a program of habitat management to help the red squirrels and dissuade the greys, making the habitat unattractive, they will migrate further away. While this may seem a little cruel towards the grey squirrel and perhaps lack compassion, they are not the native species, whereas the reds are. The grey squirrels still exist in many other continents, whereas the reds will become extinct if no action is taken. Sometimes being the caretakers of this earth, we have to make difficult decisions. The reduction of greys in this land, whereas they still exist elsewhere, or the total annihilation of reds, surely it would be immoral to allow the latter. The indigenous British are also on course for a similar fate, unless action is taken.